Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are fine. I always pray that you live long and always be happy in your life. I try my best to provide you the latest and authentic information about the Iraqi currency. So be connected with me and my YouTube channel. Before start the video I have a request to you all watch this video till end. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Let's start. Today we have some significant news to share with you. It involves a key development that could have major implications for Iraq's banking sector and its relationship with the United States. According to Ali Kitisad News, a new round of negotiations between Iraq and the United States is set to begin next Monday, August 26th. A delegation from the Central Bank of Iraq will travel to the United States to meet with their American counterparts. The purpose of these discussions is to address several critical issues facing the Iraqi banking sector. An informed source told al Ektisad News, and I quote, A delegation from the Central Bank of Iraq will begin negotiations with the American side on August 26th in America. This is a critical moment for Iraq as it seeks to stabilize its economy and strengthen its financial institutions. So what can we expect from these negotiations? While specific details have not been disclosed, it's likely that the discussions will focus on several key areas. First, there is the issue of compliance with international banking standards. In recent years, Iraq has faced challenges in this area, particularly concerning anti-money laundering measures and combating the financing of terrorism. Ensuring that Iraq's banking sector is fully aligned with international norms is crucial for fostering trust and attracting foreign investment. The United States has been a strong advocate for these reforms, so this is likely to be a significant focus of the talks. Another critical aspect that may be discussed is the relationship between Iraq's central bank and the US. Federal Reserve. For those who may not know, Iraq's financial system relies heavily on the Federal Reserve for its foreign currency reserves. These reserves are vital for maintaining the stability of the Iraqi dinar and ensuring that the country can meet its international obligations. Any changes or updates in this relationship could have far-reaching effects on Iraq's economy. Furthermore, these negotiations might address the broader economic reforms that Iraq needs to undertake to boost growth and stability. The Iraqi economy has been through a lot in recent years, from fluctuating oil prices to political instability. Strengthening the banking sector is seen as a critical step in laying the groundwork for more sustainable economic growth. The United States has often emphasized the need for comprehensive economic reforms in Iraq, so it will be interesting to see how this topic is addressed in the negotiations. So what does this all mean for Iraq and its people? In the short term, these negotiations could lead to more stringent regulations and oversight of the banking sector, which might be challenging for some local banks. However, in the long run, these measures are aimed at creating a more robust and transparent banking system. This could ultimately lead to greater economic stability and increased confidence from international investors. As we await more details on the outcome of these negotiations, it is essential to recognize that this is a critical juncture for Iraq's financial future. Strengthening the banking sector and improving international relations are vital steps toward building a more prosperous and stable Iraq. We will continue to monitor this story closely and provide updates as more information becomes available. Stay tuned to our channel for the latest news and insights on the Iraqi economy and the dinar. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates. Let us know your thoughts on this development in the comments below. What do you think will be the outcome of these negotiations? We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care.